Good day. Welcome to Latest Solution. Today we are going to be learning how to partition a hard disk without installing any software. So, what is partitioning? Partitioning means the division of the disk space available in an hard disk to various disk units. For example, if a hard disk has a disk size of 500 gig, you can separate them into various units. For example, a partition can hold 250 gig, another 100, while the other 150. That is what partition is known as the division of the space of a hard disk into various sizes or units. Why do we partition a hard disk? There are several reasons why a hard disk is partitioned. One of the reasons is to create is a place where all your documents and all your files will be kept separately from the um, OS, from the operating system. Another reason is if you want to install different operating system on a single system, you need to partition the addicts. For example, if you want to install Windows XP, Windows 7, or Ubuntu on a particular system you need to partition the addicts a partition will all window xp another will all window 7 while the next the other partition will ubuntu so today we'll learn how to partition in windows without installing any software first of all the addicts i want to partition is mine so We'll go to my computer you can press window e from your keyboard or click on my computer here so this actually the hard disk i want to partition is 500 gig it has 163 gig free space the remaining space of this hard disk are hidden some are holding my recovery files so actually i want to out of this 163 gig, I want to create a separate partition to hold 100 gig. So this is the C, this is D. I'll assign the partition a letter of E with about 100 gig. So that's what. So to start partitioning a system, to partition a hard disk, you go to my computer, you right click on it. And click on manage right click and click on manage it brings out this computer management you go to the left hand side you see storage under storage you see disk management and you can also press storage from here and select this management select this management this will load all your disks these are my hidden disk space. So this is the volume I want to partition. That is the SRC. I want to partition it. So to partition it, you right click on the drive you want to partition. And click on shrink volume. Shrinking of volume means it's going to bring out the free space available in the addix for example you can see 167,428 bytes is similar to 163 gig available for my system you can see this system has 163 gig free space and this one 167,428 bytes so it's similar actually here you define 
the size of the hard disk you want for example if you want 80 gig 80 gigabytes you are going to calculate the bytes you know 8 bytes 8 bits makes a byte and so on so you're going to calculate for example i want to remove 100,000 from here i want to remove 100 gig so i'm going to type in 100,000 this 100,000 will give us about 98 gig due to the measurements actually 1 gig is equal to 124 bytes so that's actually how bits and bytes are measured 124 bytes is equal to 124 kilobytes and that's how th these are measured so i click on shrink to now start shrinking the volume to shrink the, the c partition after shrinking the c partition you see it will bring out this this is the hundred thousand i typed in that 7.66 gig so that is the actual size so it has shrink out this you can see that the c drive is now 350 gig let's go to my computer i can see it's 350 gig but this drive uh, i shrinked has not appear so you need to come to the unallocated drive that is the hundred thousand i selected you right click on it and click on new simple volume you click on new simple volume this is the wizard welcome to the new simple volume wizard you click on next you click on next right here you can assign the, the drive a letter you can choose any letter from here to z well i prefer to go with e you click on next actually i want to format this volume there are different file system this is the file system if x fat stands for file allocation table why the ntfs stands for new technology new technology file system i'll choose the ntfs is the latest and for the allocation unit size just leave it to default this volume label you can rename yours you can either leave it a volume label i will rename my, my volume to be latest and you click i want to perform a quick format so i click on quick format you click next you click finish <laughs> The addix is going this partition is going to be formatted as you can see the partition is now created you can see the my volume label latest so let's go to my computer you can see the new partition latest and the c partition you can see this is the e partition for example right now i can pick all my personal files from this partition and place them here so this is all about format uh, partitioning a uh, hard disk. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Always subscribe to latersolution.com and see latersolution.com. Thanks for watching.